Hello beautiful people, my name is Amanda Zitto. If you are new here, I normally make travel vlogs, how to's, and general encouragement for you to get out and do the thing. And in just three weeks now, I will be leaving on my biggest trip yet, 8,000 miles solo around the United States on Briarios. <laughs> I am packing up and getting ready for Rocky Mountain Roll. This is my annual trip over there. I host a motorcycle camp out on my family's ranch in Montana every year for the last five years. This is gonna be our fifth year, which is super exciting. A little hitch in our plans this year. Obviously, nothing is going as anybody expected it to. So I am having to take a little bit more on the bike this year than I normally would. My partner is not coming with me this year, so I don't have a four-wheel vehicle to load up with crap that needs to go to Montana. So I've had to slim down a bit and try to stuff as much as I possibly can in an extra duffel bag that is going with me specifically for the event. So if you're wondering, hey Amanda, isn't that a lot more? Didn't we discuss maybe not carrying as much stuff on the motorcycle? Yes, we did. I'm definitely gonna get to test my new tent, which I'm super excited about and the new saddlebags, so exciting. Uh, the bike's gonna handle a little bit different because it definitely has more weight on it now than I have ever had on this bike. Hopefully I will get to dump as much stuff out of that yellow duffel bag and just leave it in Montana this trip, or at least as much as I can, um, so that the trip back will be a more realistic test run for the trip. I've been rolling with a hell of a stomach ache for the last week, actually. Um, mostly just nerves, you know, I'm nervous about how Rocky Mountain Roll is going to go, I'm nervous about how this trip is going to go, but you know, there's no sense in worrying because you can't do anything about it until it happens, so I'm just trying to work through this nervous tummy and uh, convince it to go away. Just because I know a thing in my brain does not mean that my body agrees with me. <laughs> The good news is that I packed my bike the day before instead of the day of, so I might actually get out of here before noon. <laughs> Sorry, it's so loud. Right next to the freeway. About 15 miles outside of Arlington, the screw that holds my visor on my helmet popped out. Thankfully, it was just the one side, so not a huge deal, but I have to take the visor off and just hope to God that the plastic part of my visor stays on until I can find a hardware store and maybe find a screw that will fit in there. Um, that was a good time. Uh -huh. So in the spirit of my channel, it's an adventure now, right? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have a snack, uh, maybe find a bathroom, and then hit the road again. This is ridiculous. The other reason I bring an extra water bottle in conjunction with my water bladder is so that by the time all the ice in my water bladder has melted, the water in my extra water bottle is still cold when it is hot AF. My helmet looks really weird without the visor to me, but it will be fine. So 
feel so much better, oh, yeah Before you I was just a shell, so stuck in the dark I actually have a secret new thing for this trip. I'm trying out a cot, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> this thing, it's, it's kind of big. Don't tell anybody, but I'm secretly hoping that it doesn't work out because this is a pain in the butt to pack. It's like almost just too wide for the duffel bag, so it's a pain in the butt to get in there. Well, it wasn't that difficult to set up. If this sleep isn't amazing, it is not coming with me. Let's throw the rest of my clothes in the tent and then actually start making some food. I keep getting distracted. Remember how I said that I was super hungry? And well, then I spend all that time shooting, setting up my tent instead of starting food and then setting up the tent. I don't even know. Pa! Ba bam! We're gonna make rice and I think that I packed RHO carts. I hope that I packed RHO carts, otherwise we're having rice and onions. <laughs> There's the rice. Artichoke right, hearts. A bouillon food. Okay, since I only have a half cup, I want to just do a cup of water, so I'm just gonna do half of a cube. Okay, I've got my rice set aside. That's gonna cook cook by itself for 20-ish minutes. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna chop up my onion, uh, fry up my onion, and heat up my artichoke hearts. I freaking love my new skillet, you guys. It's so nice. <laughs> nothing is burning, nothing is sticking to the pan. This is freaking amazing. Links in the description for this pan because I am impressed. It really didn't take that long to cook. It's just that I cooked right as the sun was going down. So even though it only took like 30 minutes, it looks like it took an hour because now it's really dark. <laughs> All right, I wrapped up the last of the time lapses that I'm gonna do tonight. I'm tired. It's about midnight. My body is tired. Unlike normal, uh, this is my first long trip of the year, so my endurance level is still pretty darn low. So my body is sore. 
I am glad that I took the time to like make a proper dinner because my body needed it. So I've got camera gear charging. I've got SD cards downloaded and uh, yeah, I think it's, it's time to turn in for the night. I'll see you guys in the morning.